Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 14th of 2023. Well, it is titled W5, the Sol Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as the Sol Nebula, actually relatively close to the Heart Nebula, which is nearby. And this is an image that is taken in three different colors of light and then digitally put together. So what we have is a, a image in the hydrogen in red. So the hydro, red color represents where the hydrogen emission is, yellow for sulfur, and blue for oxygen. So it's looking at the emission, just the specific emission of the gas of those three elements in this nebula. Now the nebula contains a number of star clusters and is a star forming region. And the star clusters forming toward the center there then begin to hollow out the regions around it. So it clears those regions out leaving less material in the central regions and material toward the outer regions are stars still in the process of formation. So the star cluster formation is an ongoing process and doesn't occur all at once. It can take hundreds of millions of years for a cluster to fully form. And the clusters, we can see a number of regions here where stars are still forming. We can see some of these tendrils pointing in toward the central regions of the areas that have been cleared out. Those are the densest areas that still contain protostars in the process of formation. The tip of each of those can contain a star or stars that are still in the process of forming and have not yet ignited enough to break out of their cocoons and become visible. So at some point in the future, these will add to the stars within this cluster as the formation continues. And eventually the Sol Nebula will disappear as the material is continually pushed away by the hot stars that form and clears out the gas and dust that is remaining. So if we could come back in a couple of hundred million years, we would see just the star clusters that have formed, along with maybe a few wispy tendrils of gas remaining that had not happened to have been cleared out. So the process of star formation in a galaxy like ours is an ongoing process and continues and has been going on in our galaxy for 10 billion years. So stars have formed across that whole time, leaving from time to time nebulae like this for a short period during that stage of formation. So that was our picture of the day for March 14th of 2023. It was titled W5, the Sol Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.